Hey what's up, David Alex here and welcome to this video tutorial where I'll be showing you how to use I2C interfere uh, to add this uh, interference effect to this sort of UI panel I have going on here. So basically we have this uh, uh, split of colors, we have the layers sort of moving around and we have all this distortion going on and all this is being produced by interfere which can get off of ideas to creations. Okay, so here I am in my starting point. I've finished creating the UI and now I'm ready to add interfere to it. So that's gonna be this comp here, which is comp four. And I just have a black solid there that's holding this. And then the image, which is just acting as a background. So I'll grab these two and I'm gonna hit layer, pre-compose. And I'll call this um, comp four interfered. Okay, cool. So I'm going to go into that comp and we now have the two guys right there and an empty comp without the background. So I'm going to select the two again, pre-compose them, call this interfere source. Okay, so this is going to be my starting point. So now I need to create a new null object, call it interfere. And this is the guy that's going to hold the controls. So I'll select that guy and come in here to the effects and presets panel and just search interfere, you'll see it right there. Uh, so we're going for interfere now and then I'll select this layer here and choose interfere layer. Now it's gonna go dark because I didn't name it as I should so I'm gonna hit enter and call it red. And now this is my red layer and you can see it's been offset. That means that things are working. So I'm gonna duplicate this and call it green duplicate again and call it blue so now I have RGB another thing I need to do is toggle switches and modes and change this to add and now you can see I have some craziness so <laughs> let me go to interfere and change this value to 5 so it's not as crazy okay so I'm getting the RGB split now I just need to change a few settings here so that it looks a bit more interesting so First thing I'll do is set the interfere value down. I'm going to switch off rotate. I'm going to leave scale on and leave move on. So I need to change something between the two. And that's going to be, let's start off with scale first. So with scale on currently, it's scaling all three layers just like this. So we need to change that and change that um, uniform scale. Just switch that off. So now they get gets a bit more <laughs> that looks really funky okay so i like how the scaling looks so far i'm going to the next step which is to add scan lines so i'll come down here scan lines and we get those lines cutting through which are pretty handy and i'll set the width really low so you get that uh, that look right there and then i'll go back up to distort switch on distort come down here distort and to sort type I'll set to 2 which is square I can set the width down or up and then I'll just make it a lot stronger than the others so that uh, it's a very nice and strong effect you can also play around with the direction I'll set it up in a way so I can have this being broken up nicely you can also position that okay so this is now the look that we're getting from interfere uh, looks very nice and now we just need to set up the animation of the control so select interfere go on up give that a click uh, sorry it should be on zero actually and I'll hit U to see that control I've just animated I'll move the keyframe forward slightly set this one to zero and then just go to one second and set this to zero as well so it goes zero two and then zero so I hit play, you see it starts and then it stops. So it sort of animates in and out. Now to make it a, a lot harsher, we can bring these two together and I can even make this a larger value. Rather than two, we can go really crazy, say that much. Cool, so that's what I'm getting so far. And it gets better because if I select my three layers, switch on that motion blur and then switch that on down here as well, that motion blur gives it a very nice look now. So as you can see with interfere, we very quickly and easily made this nice look here. 
and um, we're going ahead and add some more effects. So I'm going to go new adjustment layer right down there. I think you can see it. And I'll add down here, you'll see mosaic interfere. So I'll double click that. I also need to make a few changes up here before I can see anything here. And that's to change the multiplier. So I'm going to increase it until I see my, there are my blocks. So let's turn it down just a little bit. And I'll increase the horizontal and vertical blocks. Yeah, something like that. So I'm preview that. As you can see, it still renders pretty fast. Except when it gets really intense like this. And you can notice that the mosaic is sort of killing off everything. So I'll go to that frame where it looks crazy, which is right there. And then just turn down the multiplier to get something that looks good. I can also change the adjustment layers mode to add. So sort of get a brighter section there in the middle. And there we go. And all this is possible with the interfere preset, which you can find on ideastocreations.blogspot.com. But for now, I'm David Alex, and that's it from this video. See you in the next one.